Rescue me, rescue me, rescue me. We are down at the San Luis Obispo Animal, uh, County Animal Shelter with a house full, and we really do need you to come rescue us because... It's just past the 4th of July, and guess what happens to us on the 4th of July? Fire works go off and all the dogs pour in. They leave you and they come to us. If they had their IDs on, Deborah, how many times do we have About to say it? 50,000 or 50,001 at this I point. Think I think the folks, even little um, Penny had to sit down for this one because she says, oh, these two are gonna go into it again. Anyway, if your animal had an ID on it, if you lost your animal, they're down here at the shelter and they could be home with you. A little Sharpie marker. This is the simplest thing. Right on the collar, your phone number will give you a call and say, Fido is down here at the shelter. Come pick him up. Done deal. And barring that, have a microchip, have your dog microchipped, have, you know, collar and license, all those things. We would much rather, the officers would rather drive your dog home to you than bring him down here. So it can be very easy or your dog gets stuck down here. And that makes it a little bit hard for us and the other dogs that we already have down here. Sure enough. So help us out. Get the IDs on your animals. Microchip, Sharpie marker, a phone number on the collar, ID tag, however you can do it so that we can get your animal back to you. Now, let's talk about Penny here, because she wants a home. She is darling. She lost her home because of a housing situation. She was very sad when she first came. She's warming up wonderfully. She's sort of a little mini Toto looking dog there. I'm not exactly sure what she is, but she's a sweet dog. I have to hold her chin up so she can be happy. It's because she's so sad, but she's a really sweet dog. She's definitely a lap dog. And um, she is, you know, she's warming up. She's ready to go to a new home. She's also very good with other dogs. So Penny is an all-around good girl. The volunteer who works mostly with her told me that she just wants to be a companion to you. She loves her people and she wants to be by your side continuously. So if that's appealing to you and what's not appealing about that? Everybody needs a Penny. So please come get this one. We love her. She's fabulous. Her ID number is 192-998 Little Teeny Tiny Penny. I am so sad for Ginger. Do you know why, Terry? Why is that, Deborah? Because I think she's our longest residing dog. She's I think you might be right. Four months now. Um, she is a good dog. She is good with other dogs, males, females. I think we've even had her with small dogs. She is an all-around great dog. She's also got half of her adoption fee paid. Wow, that's so, terrific. Please, everybody, this is a great dog. Come down here, give her a chance. She's 11 and a half. Ginger's ID number is 168415. Well, guess, this is Kobe, and guess what he is? He's our second longest residing dog. I think he's been on this show more times than anybody else except Ginger. That's right, and we don't want him to be on any more shows. He is also a really good dog. He and Ginger have something in common, and that sometimes when you get them out, they tend to ignore you, which does not get people to adopt them. But once they know you and they're around you and they're not so excited just to be free for 10 minutes, then they start paying attention to you again and they're extremely loving. These dogs just need to get into homes to show how fabulous they can be. That is totally understandable. Well, yeah, I mean, if you're only, you know, if you get about an hour at the most out of your very small, you know, home a day, you make the most of it. And the most of it's not always paying attention to the person you're with, but given some time, extremely loving dog. Okay, so I know there's a special person out there that's going to come down here, get uh, Kobe out, and give him some time. He also has half adoption fee paid, so cool. he'll save you some money, as well as being a great companion. His ID number is 191216. This is our darling Kobe. Deborah, this is one of my favorites down here. He's one of everybody's favorites. I love his smile. He is as sweet as he can be. He's about six years old. He had to have some surgery down here, which he's recovering from but he's doing great now. He is sweet and loving and cute. This is Sammy, ID number 148495. These two great little guys actually came here together. On the left-hand side is Teague. He's about four years old. And on the right-hand side is Buddy. He is about nine years old. And so Buddy is eligible for the senior rebate, which means... They get $35 back on the adoption fee when they adopt the senior here. Teague, ID number 192697, and Buddy 192696. They are great little guys. I think this is one of the most beautiful dogs in the shelter. Down here, everybody loves Junior. His ID number is 192334, but Junior has half 
half of his adoption fee paid, so that will save you some money. And he's tons of fun. Just a puppy, barely over a year. The number is 192334. This is Junior. This is Cato. He's our wild-eyed boy. He is very good with other dogs. Just an all-around nice guy. Very young. Um, just nice medium guy. size. Nice medium size. Kind of a little pocket size guy. Yeah. Uh, turned up nose and big old ears. I mean, what more do you want? What more could you want? He's great. ID number 193214. This is Cato. This is our, our resident salami head right now. This is Murphy, and we love him down here. He has fabulous ears, a fabulous personality. He's loving. He's good with other dogs as long as it's not a really alpha male, but females and easygoing males, he does fabulously well. He knows sit. He knows down. He's smart. He's gorgeous. He has a great personality and a fabulous sense of humor. Murphy's ID number is 191741. We love him. You'd be lucky to get him. This is Buster. His family could no longer keep him, so at two years old, he finds himself down at the pound. What a raw deal. He is an all-around nice dog. He's been doing well with our other little dogs down here, and his ID number is 190754. Oh, that's a cute little Jack Russell mix there. Yes, he came right out here and said, I'm just happy to be here for now. Been doing terrific with other dogs, too. He's just a happy little guy. Um, maybe six, seven years old, so he's a little bit older, so a little bit calmer, but still got 10, 12, 15 years to go. His ID number is 193502. This is Yogi. Well, Terry, this is a great dog. His owners couldn't keep him anymore, so he found himself down here, but he has been doing so well with the other dogs, males and females. Very handsome. This is a guy that's going to get you noticed, no doubt about it. Got those long legs. Wow. And handsome mask on his face and just a really good dog. He looks like a good jogging companion. What do you think? He does. He hmm. does look like he'd be good. He's actually pretty good on the leash, so that's nice. His ID number is 193644. This is Dozer. Oh, and actually one of the volunteers noted that he is a good jogger. So great. There's your jogging partner, folks. This is sweet Josie. She is beautiful. She is also one of our very best play dogs. We can wow. work with just about anybody, the hard players, the easy players. She gets along with everyone. Just a really good girl. ID number 193273. This is Josie. Well, here's the other best set of ears in the shelter. This is Guppy, and somebody has got to come get this little girl out of here. She. She's great with the other dogs, but overall she does not like the shelter very well. Yeah. well Little Tiny Guppies, ID number is 192698. She is just as sweet as she can be. These little doll faces um, lost their home together. They could no longer be kept by their owners. They are sweet, precious, wonderful dogs. Again, we'd love to see them go together, but they certainly don't have to. Um, on the left-hand side is Daisy. Now, she's a little older girl. Can you believe that? She's almost 12. I know. She doesn't look good at all, and she qualifies for the senior rebate, Deborah. So on the one hand, that's okay. The adopter gets $35 back on that adoption. And the nice thing is dogs like Daisy can live for, you know, 18 years. So she's got many years left in the Many. Her, and she does not act like an older dog, except she's very quiet and gentle. Pippin's only four, the little goofy-looking guy. I don't know what he is on the right-hand side there. Um, but he sure is cute. Uh, he is a neutered male, 193010, and Daisy's ID number is 193009. We, Allie's been with us a while, too, T. Yes, yeah, she has. She's, she's been here since May, so we want to get her into a home. And her tail is still wagging. Imagine all this time here, and she's still in a good mood. That is what is amazing about dogs. I know it. They there it goes. happy creatures. That is a tail wagon situation you have. Yeah. She would be great for a jogger, a oh. hiker, uh, a bicycler, somebody who is very active because she does have a fair amount of energy and she is quite young. Allie's ID number is 192554. She is beautiful, available, and wants to go home. This is Lauren. And when she first came in, she was terrified. And yes, I know she still looks scared, but she's doing tons better. Um, she's put on weight. She's still thin, but she was absolutely emaciated when we got her. But with some love, good food, um, socialization with other dogs, she is truly coming out of her shell. The camera's freaking her out a little bit, so she looks 
more frightened than she normally does, but this is a loving and sweet dog. Well. And Lauren has half her adoption fee paid, so come on down here and adopt her. Half her adoption fee has already been paid. She was fostered for a while too, Terry, and the foster person said she did great in a home environment. She relaxed, she's quiet, she's easygoing, likes to watch TV. So just a very easygoing dog and very house trained as well. So just ID number 192-990, lovely, beautiful, sweet Lauren. She looks like a little fox. She is darling. She is darling, isn't she? And while she's calm and nice on my lap, people can get to look at her. I want to speak about putting on the dog. Deborah, this is an event in August, August 17th at Elm Street Park in Arroyo Grande. And all dogs are welcome. I was at it last year and it's such a good amount of fun. If you like to hang around with dogs, you have from 10 until, I think it goes till 3, to hang out with a bunch of dogs. All breeds welcome, no matter what. And they have contests that are just a hoot. Costumes on the dogs, owner dog look-alike. It's just so much fun. So put that on your calendars now, August 17th at Elm Street Park in Arroyo Grande. And maybe even little Skeeter will be there. Uh, she should be because she's really cute. What a great ambassador. Skeeter is ID number 193337. She's a spayed female, just about three years old. Shelby is another incredibly loving dog that um, just wants, to, wants that person that she can sit by, walk with, put her head in your lap. Actually, she likes to put her whole body in your lap. She is definitely a lap dog. Shelby's ID number is 193549. Plus, she's beautiful. This is Darby. He was found in Grover Beach on the 8th of July, and nobody has come to look for him, sadly. He's a nice dog. He's, he is so easy to walk on the leash. Um, he seems to be house trained. He knows sit. He's loving and affectionate and attentive. Just a good salami-headed dog. He's a hoot. He's just a hoot. He's got a nice this smile. This guy will make you laugh every day, honestly. He's got a great smile. His ID number is 193558. This is Darby. Okay, here's what I don't understand. This dog came in on the 10th as a stray from San Luis Obispo. Nobody has come to pick her up, and look what she has on. Deborah, I have never seen a whiter, brighter collar. This collar is screaming for the Sharpie marker. The Sharpie marker, this is what it looks like, in case <laughs> anybody doesn't know. Put my phone number on my collar, and I can be back home. That's all we're saying about this. Look at that. It's, it, thank you for I mean, showing us. You cared enough to get her that big old, probably costly collar. Um, a phone number? If on it, she would be home. Sorry. If she's here. We love her, though. She's a beautiful dog. Her ID number is 193613. Either please come get her, whoever owns her, or somebody come adopt her. She's a good girl. I find this dog fascinating. He, what... He looks like a miniature bull terrier. Absolutely. Yep. It's amazing. Mixed with something smaller. Fascinating looking little dog. Wearing a spiky collar that somebody cared enough to put on him. But he's been here since the 1st of July and nobody's come looking for him. I so. He's one of a kind, Deborah. You get this dog, you've got a one of a kind dog. Everyone's going to want to know where you got him. Yep. And what he is. Because he looks, that's got to be bull terrier in there. So if you're the one to adopt him, you say he is a mini bull terrier. That's and that. He's the very first one. Mm -hmm. okay. ID number 193417. We're going to call him Sparky. Lap dog extraordinaire here. Levi just wants to sit on your lap. That's pretty much all he wants to do. He won't play with other dogs, but he's really a people dog, and he's looking for his people. Well, these small dogs, they want the lap. They claim the lap. That's what they're... Jeans tell him to do so fine with Levi if he gets a lap and most people who want a small dog want them on their lap so it's a perfect match. And he's great because if you know you kind of like small dogs but not too small he falls right into that because he's small but he's not tiny. True. He's got some heft to him you know. And he's volunteer's pick of the month of July that means half of his adoption fee has already been paid so he's a bargain as well. So what more do you want? Levi's terrific. His ID number is 149914. We love him. Volunteers pick Levi. That little cutie pie with his little goatee there is, we're going to call him Angus. He came into the shelter from um, North County, Creston and El Pomar, um, on the 10th of this month. That's funny, Deborah. When he heard the name Angus, he kind of stood up straight. Like He wants to be an Angus, I can feel it. I'm Angus. Whatever he was before, he's thrown it off. He wants to be Angus. He's really cute, and he's really small, although not teeny tiny, and he's a great-looking dog. 
ID number 193636. This little sweetie pie, we are going to call Angus because he wants to be. Now this one to us looks like a mini Afghan hound. What do you think about that? Absolutely does. When she's standing up, she... <laughs> oh. Oh. Who's well. that mini Afghan hound I'm looking at here? It's a newcomer to the shelter. We found her on the 12th of July in Morro Bay. And uh, it is female. We think she's about eight months old. Obviously, a very distinctive looking dog. So if you've lost her or you know somebody who has, come to the shelter and ask for ID number 193672 for our mini Afghan. Labrador Retriever fans, we've got a butte down here. Um, this is actually a newcomer from to the shelter. She was found in Atascadero on the 13th of July. Is this your beautiful doggy? She's an awful sweet dog. Somebody should be looking for her. Her ID number is 193702, pretty chocolate lab female, just about two years old. Here's another newcomer to this shelter. We found this dog on the 15th of uh, July in San Luis at Laguna Lake Park as a stray. She is just about eight months old and her ID number is 193731. Are you missing her? This little girl was picked up in San Luis Obispo at Augusta and Sydney on the 15th of July. She has tags and she has chips and her name seems to be Molly Ann. And hopefully, owner, you're out there looking for her. But if somebody doesn't pick her up in the next few days, then she's available for adoption. And she's a doll, little poodle, number 168162. I know we have a lot of German Shepherd fans out there because our German Shepherds get adopted very quickly, and this is a great one. He's a wonderful boy, about four, about four years old. Um, he was found in the North County on Highway 46. He's, he's sweet and he's loving. <laughs> and he's a lap dog. <laughs> <laughs> he's a lap dog. <laughs> His ID number is 193629, and we're going to call him Dallas. Here's another newcomer to this shelter. She is a beautiful chocolate lab. We found her on the 13th of July at Bishop's Peak Elementary in San Luis. She's about a year and a half old, we think, and, and a definite female. She is ID number 193705. Also, she has one of those collars on, a nice canvas collar. It's light in color, and if you had a Sharpie marker owner, you could have put your phone number on it and she would not be here. So everybody out there, get out your Sharpies, put the phone numbers on the collar. That'll make us so very happy because we won't see any of these dogs down here. Meanwhile, we've got this chocolate lab, needs to be returned home, 193705. And yet one more newcomer to the shelter. She came in on the 13th of July from Tipton and Ardith in Cambria. So somebody should be looking for this little beauty. Um, she's just probably six or eight months old. She's quite young. She has some growing to do. She's definitely a puppy. Very darling girl. ID number is 193700. This is little Bridget, and she's a little woozy. She just had her spay surgery. But um, she's a very nice dog. ID number 193465. She's loving and affectionate. She's great on the leash. She's really calm. She plays with a Frisbee. You'd never believe it right she now. Does. She's a Frisbee dog. <laughs> She's just a really, really good dog. And so far, she's been good with males and females. Bridget's ID number is 193465. Oh, this is little Sunshine. She's just about five years old, and she, she recently lost her home and was turned in, and she's very sad about it. She is not happy about this situation, but she's, she's warming up, and she's a sweet girl. We have to keep her spirits up until she gets her we forever do. home, Deborah. That's what volunteers are good at down here, is keeping their spirits up till they get into good homes. Sunshine's ID number is 193645. We are calling this guy Otis. His head looks like he's got a little road rash going there. Greer's trying to tell me it's a snowboarding accident, but I'm thinking his head met some pavement. Uh, he's a nice dog. He's a big, strong dog. He's a good guy. He came into the shelter on the 10th of July. Um, we're going to call him Otis. We like him down here. He's sweet. He's a, he's a kisser. ID number 193631, big ol' Otis. This is Pepper, and she is a good girl. She's great with the ball. She brings it back every time. She's really good. With, she seems to be good with cats, dogs, and children. She's just really nice, and she's good with other dogs, too. We have her down as three years old. She was a stray when she came in. I do not think she is. I think she's younger than that. Um, she's very playful still and very puppy-like. Her ID number is 193476. This is Pepper. 
This is Wrangler. We call him a ranch mix down here. He's sitting there with his foster dad, Greer. He's had him out in foster. He has been great in his home, playing with their other dog. He's generally good with dogs that aren't dominant. He likes sort of mellow dogs. But he's, you know, he's house trained. He's well trained. He uses a doggy door. He's good on the leash. He's good with cats. Greer, and if you are interested in meeting him, call the shelter office and they will get you in touch with his foster dad. And Wrangler's ID number is 918-711. Welcome to the cat portion of the program. After seeing all those dogs, are you ready for some of our cats? This is Bridget, and she is a big, gorgeous black cat. That qualifies her for the black cat rebate. Right off the bat, I'm telling you about that. Any cat you adopt from us who is black gives you $25 off the adoption fee. That is a great bargain for you. And here you've got one of our big, beautiful gals named Bridget. She is just about three years old. She is comfortable in any situation, loves to be petted. She is a great, great cat. If you like Bridget, come to the shelter and ask for number 193-384. That's Bridget. Well, you're looking at a twofer here. We have Scarlett and we have Charlie. Charlie is the tabby, and Scarlet is the black cat. If you want two cats that go well together, why don't you take these two? A lot of people like cats that go well together because they like to play together. They entertain each other. It's a really fun thing to have around the house, two cats. So Charlie and Scarlet, Charlie's number, 192926, and Charlie's a male, and Scarlet, number 192925. Scarlet's a female. They're both about three months old. Just kittens. Say hi to Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell just flew in here. Yeah, I'm only kidding about that. Tinkerbell is just about a year old. She is a real cute black and white tuxedo. We don't get a lot of those these days. So if you like Tinkerbell, ask for number 193250. She's a real cutie pie. Well, if you want a cat who's cool, calm, and collected, you're going to love Boots. Look at him there, just so confident. He is uh, black and white, as you can see, and his ID number is 185392. He has half his adoption fee already paid for you because he's the volunteer pick of July. So if you like Boots, half the adoption fee already paid. 185392, Boots. You are looking at Garfield. He's just a little mite of a thing. Just a kitten, two months old. His ID number, 193415. Garfield. Another two for four you. We've got Puffin and Jessica, two cutie pies. Puffin, ID number 193413. The Tabby and Jessica, 193414. The Black Cat. How can we think to split these two up? Look at them hugging each other. Here comes Taffy out to meet and greet. That's the orange tabby. Taffy, a female, ID number 192872, and her buddy, roommate, Nate, a male, 193287. Again, if you like two cats that get along together, these two would be perfect for you, Taffy and Nate. You guys out there that love the Maine Coon type cat, that really expressive cat, gorgeous, you're going to love Kitty. Here she is. She's just about two years old. She is gorgeous. Look at those eyes. Her ID number, 193338. Kitty. Next up, we've got Kahlo. He is just four months old, just a kitten, and his ID number, 192228. Kahlo qualifies for the black cat rebate. Yes, he does. And a little black and white one, tuxedo, named Oreo. ID number 193252. Next up, we've got Sadie. Sadie is a little kitten. She is all black, as you can see, qualifying for the black cat rebate. She's a doll. ID number 193411. Saying hi. That's Sadie. Wave back. Here's a little tabby named Cleo. Tabby is under a year old, she's still a kitten. ID number 191283, mild-mannered Cleo. Here's a real beauty. This is Miss Kitty, and she is a lovely, lovely cat. She loves to be in your lap. She loves to be petted. She loves to be a companion. Loves people. ID number 193454, Miss Kitty. And yeah, she does qualify for the black cat rebate. You're right. That's $25 off her adoption fee. What a bargain. ID number 193454, Miss Kitty. Jade is so tall. Look at those long legs. She is a wonderful cat. Volunteers like her very much and so have paid half her adoption fee. That's right, 
If you fall in love with Jade, all you have to do is to pay half an adoption fee and she's yours. She is lovely. ID number 161895. Jade. Next up, we've got Handsome, and Handsome's just kind of snoozing the day away. Not much to do around here at the shelter. These cats get to live in these very small spaces. What's a cat to do? So, if you've got any time on your hands, we can use you down here as a volunteer. Yeah, if you like cats, just come on down here, be a volunteer. You can get these cats out of the cages, pet them, brush them, talk to them even. It makes them so much more adoptable and really adds to the quality of their life while they're here at the shelter. Think about that and give us a call. 781-4413 gets you to the volunteer line and we can talk to you about filling out an application and coming on board as a volunteer. 781-4413. For now, think about adopting Handsome. He is just about five years old. He's ID number 188358 and he won't give you an ounce of trouble. What a sweet face. We have a pretty calico here. This is Misty. ID number 193632, Misty. Cat. This is a dilute tortoiseshell, from what I can see. Yes, a dilute tortoiseshell. It's Shushu. Just about a year right. old. Her ID number is 193627. Well, here's a big, beautiful tabby on white. If you like a big, handsome cat, then you're going to really love Vino. He is just about a year and a half old, and his ID number is 193371. That's Vino. I am so glad Sophie is standing up so you can see her stockings. Yeah, the very unusual legs that she has, all kind of patchy black and white, as is the rest of herself. She is a reverse black and white tuxedo, I think, because she's got the black in the white tuxedo spot. This is a gal who's going to get you noticed or talked about. Sophie is just about six years old, and her ID number is 192964. Well, here's a real black and white tuxedo. You see the white is in the right spot. This is Hetty, and Hetty is a mom. She delivered her babies here at the shelter, and so now she's available for adoption. The babies are all gone. She qualifies for what we call our Mama Cat rebate. So if you decide to adopt Hetty, you get $25 off of your adoption fee. That's terrific. Hetty is a wonderful cat. She's just about two years old, ID number 192606. Hetty, here's another gorgeous and very sleek tabby. This is Quigley. He's just about a year and a half old. ID number 193635. Quigley, long and lean and beautiful. Here's another tabby. We're calling this cat Bobby. ID number 193689. Bobby. Here is Karina. It's a little uh, gray and white. Gray and whites are in demand these days. I don't know why, but everybody wants a gray and white. This one is just about five months old. ID number 193691. I just love the look of this cat. This is Marnie, and she is a tortoise shell. Isn't she gorgeous? She's just a year old, and her ID number is 193321. Next up, we've got Camry. Camry is just about two years old and qualifies for the black cat rebate. Yes, once again, any cat that is black, you get $25 off the adoption fee. ID number 193191, Camry. Here's a very sweet Petunia. In fact, her name is Petunia. She is a nice buff tabby, and her ID number is 193352. Petunia. Once again, if you like two cats that go together, these two are perfect. We have Cece and Leah, both tortoiseshells. Cece on the right, ID number 193685, and Leah on the left, ID number 193686. Ideal roommates. Pretty, pretty girl, Patches. She is just about a year and a half old. She is ID number 193294. We've got 30 kittens down here at the shelter for you to come down and see and adopt. And we've also got of kittens out in foster. I'd say we have about 100 kittens out in foster at this time. Pets, but please, please, please come down to the shelter and see some of our kittens.